Public Health Watch, your public health tax dollars at work. Brought to you by DeathWinch Professional Services. Let DeathWinch do your data. The purpose of this intervention presentation is to give you examples of four levels of interventions for one particular issue. We use interventions to affect health determinants and therefore health indicators. There are four main levels of interventions we choose. Policy interventions, community-based interventions, healthcare interventions, and individual level interventions. All of these can contribute to addressing the same issue just at different levels. In this presentation, we will use the example of the issue substance abuse disorder and apply an intervention at each level to this issue. Let's consider applying a policy intervention to the issue of substance abuse disorder. An example of that is the Mental Health Parity Act of 2008. This made insurances have to cover mental health treatment in parity or equally to physical health. Examples of determinants this could affect are overall health and financial situation. An example of indicators that this could affect are lower rates of comorbidities and higher employment or income. Next, let's consider an example of a community-based intervention. For substance abuse disorder, a good example is Alcoholics Anonymous. This meets for free in community spaces such as churches, and members can make a $1 donation. It is also run by members. The determinants that this could affect are stress, comorbidities, support systems, and financial determinants. Indicators that could be affected are higher rates of social engagement and lower rates of substance consumption. A good example of a healthcare level intervention that could be used for substance abuse disorder is screening at a local primary care clinic. For example, the CAGE screen is four yes-no questions. Anybody who answers yes to any of the questions is at high risk for alcoholism, and they can be referred to mental health services. Determinants that could be affected by this intervention are comorbidities and lack of healthcare access, and indicators are higher rates of substance abuse treatment. Good examples of an individual level intervention for substance abuse disorder would be pharmaceuticals to help people quit whatever they are addicted to. Anabuse is available for those addicted to alcohol, and nicotine patches and gum are available for those addicted to tobacco. Also, there is Suboxone and Methadone for those addicted to narcotics. This type of intervention could affect the determinants of comorbidities and ability to function in a social role and could change the indicators of higher rates of sobriety and higher employment and social engagement. What category or level is the right one for your intervention? Policy interventions are big, powerful things, like the Affordable Care Act and OSHA. These are necessary when communities do not have the capital or power to do these kind of interventions themselves. These policy interventions are upstream and therefore paternalistic. So we would prefer community-based interventions because these are less paternalistic, localized, and they can honor local customs and norms. However, these are limited by communities. Communities have little social or other capital. They cannot implement community-based interventions. However, the healthcare system is always available for healthcare interventions. These are effective for health problems, but these are also limited to those who have access. And also, in the United States, the healthcare system is already strained with existing work. This leaves individual level interventions, which are expensive. They offer little bang for the public health buck. However, they are often very effective. Public Health Watch, your public health tax dollars at work. Brought to you by DeathWinch Professional Services. Let DeathWinch do your data.